Hello, my name is Paul Cree, poet, rapper and storyteller and welcome to video number two from where we've been virtually exploring the Barbican using the audio and visual stimulus and gathering some information and using that to write some poems. So in today's video, we're going to be doing just that, using some of that information that you gathered from the first video and having a go at writing some poems. But before all of that, we're gonna do a quick writing warm up to get us ready to start writing. But before that even, it's just a quick gentle reminder to make sure that you've got something ready to write with, whether that's a pen and a paper or a laptop or even a phone if you like. And just to make sure when you're watching the video, after I give you the instruction, is to pause the video to give you the right amount of time to do what you need to do. Okay, we all ready? All right, let's get cracking. Okay, so for this first warm up, we're going to be looking at a little rhyme challenge, all right? So what I need you to do is to be able to make a list and write as many words as you can that rhyme with the word can. Can being the last syllable, the third syllable in Barbican. Just a quick note for me and for a lot of us, Barbican is pronounced Barbican, but just for this exercise, we're gonna pronounce that last syllable as can, as in Barbie can. So all you're doing for now though, is writing a list of words that rhyme with can. Man, damn, ham, etc., etc. Right, give yourself one minute. Off you go. Okay, so now I'd like you to write a list of three word phrases, which each have three syllables. So three words, three syllables, where the last syllable rhymes with can, as in Barbie can, that's a three syllable, well, it's not three words, but it's three syllables, Barbie can, but you want three words with three syllables. So for example, ask my nan, tin of spam, spam, nan, all rhyme with can, three words, three syllables, I love spam. Give yourself a minute or two, off you go. Okay, so here's a little extra rhyming challenge here for the more professional rhymers, the rappers amongst you. So you've got your three word, three syllable phrases in a list, hopefully, like ask my nan. But now, can you write again, three words, three syllables, rhyming with barbican, but can you get the first and third syllables to rhyme? So barbican, ask my nan, only the last syllable rhymes. But if I was to say jar of jam, that means the first and third syllables rhyme. And if that's too easy for you, can you get all three to rhyme? Jar of jam, I love jam. Off you go. And now for your final challenge in the rhyming warm up, using the rhyme words and phrases from your list, can you write a short rhyming story which starts with the sentence in the barbican? So use as many of those rhyme words and phrases as you can. And of course, you're allowed to use additional words in order to make up the sentences that don't rhyme with can. So for example, you could have, in the barbican there was a lamb which ran along the walkway. I mean, hopefully you can do a bit better than that. All right, so take a couple of minutes. Off you go. Okay, so now we're going to have a go at writing a list poem. Now list poems are a very good way to get into writing poetry. They can be fast and effective and quite simple to look at and also to perform. And it's a great way to build up lines and build up your vocabulary. And of course, if you've completed the first exercise, 
you will already have written a couple of lists anyway. So hopefully now you're an expert. So pens at the ready, we're gonna have a go at writing a list poem. Take a moment to have a look through each of the pictures for each of the spaces. You also may want to have a look at some of the notes you made about each of the spaces. Now you've looked at all of the pictures, choose one of the spaces and write that name down on your piece of paper. For example, the boiler room. I don't know what it is, but I like the boiler room. Maybe because it's dark and murky or something. I don't know. But you pick yours and write the name down. Okay. Now complete the sentence underneath where you've written the name of that space. I picked this space because, and then fill in the gaps. Now there's no right or wrong here. It's entirely up to you why you picked that space. It might be the color of it. It might be what it reminds you of. It doesn't matter as long as you fill in the sentence. I picked this space because. Okay, so now thinking about the space that you've chosen, why you've chosen it, and also using some of the description from the video before where you listened to the audio and looked at the pictures, you're going to have a go at writing a list poem about that space. Now, start with the line, you'll find me in, on or by, depending on which space you've chosen, and then start to go line by line and build up a nice list poem about that space. Now, you might want to use some rhymes in there. It doesn't have to rhyme if you don't want it to, but you've already got a list of rhyme words, for instance, that you might be able to incorporate into this piece about this space. Some of the things you might want to include in there is a description of the space, perhaps the texture and the color of the walls. Why is it you like this space or dislike this space? How does this space make you feel? and what type of people or creatures you'll find in this space. And try and throw in a few metaphors and similes like you did in the video before. All right, take a few minutes for this one. Off you go. Okay, so well done for having a go at writing your list poem. Now we're going to have a go at writing a narrative rhyme poem. So again, like before, have a look through the pictures, have a look through your notes of description, and you're going to pick a different space this time. And again, like before, write, write the name of that space down on your page, on your laptop or whatever, okay? Okay, like before, now complete the sentence, I picked this space because. I picked this space because. And remember, there's no right or wrong with this, just go with what you're feeling and what you're thinking, okay? Okay, next, looking at the people or creatures that you might find in this space, that hopefully you would have written down from the video before. Pick one of those people or creatures and write that name of whatever it is down on a list. So for example, you could have a businessman. Next question, who is this person slash creature? Write a sentence with a bit of description about who or what this person or creature is. So for example, with uh, the businessman that I picked, could say he wears a charcoal gray suit and black shoes, he has a briefcase and is speaking on a mobile phone. Okay, off you go.
Okay, next question. Thinking about the person slash creature that you've just picked. Why would you find them in this space? Why would you find them in this space? So for example, our businessman, he likes to sit and eat his sandwiches whilst on his lunch break from the office. How about that? Okay, so now you've chosen your space and you've chosen your person slash creature, you're now going to have a go at writing a narrative poem about that person slash creature and what space in the Barbican you're going to find them. So a rhyming narrative poem is essentially a story with a few rhymes in there. So again, you can use some of the rhyme words that you've already built from the first task, your warm-up task, and also you can use any additional rhyming words uh, that, you, that you've discovered along the way as you're building up your vocabulary. Okay, so there you go, off you go. Okay, if you've just had a go at writing your rhyming narrative poem, well done. We're gonna to come to our last task and our last attempt at writing a poem for this video, which is an ode poem, which is a bit like a dedication to a place, a thing, or a person. So of course, we're going to write an ode poem to one of the spaces inside the Barbican. So, same process as before, have a look through the pictures, look through your list of descriptions, and you're going to pick a different space this time, and write that space down on your page. Now you've got that space, I want you to complete the sentence as before, I picked this space because, remembering that there's no right or wrong in this answer. Okay, you're now going to imagine this space that you've picked is a person that you like. And what I want you to do now is to write down some answers to the following questions. Why do you like this person slash space? How does this person slash space make you feel? What type of person is this space? Okay, so for the final part, you're now going to write an ode poem about this space as if it was a person and a person that you like. So essentially, you're writing a very lovely dedication to your favorite space slash person slash space. Okay, off you go. Take a few minutes for this one. All right. Okay, so if you've got to the end of the video and you've had a go at all of the challenges, well done. You've written some rhyme poems, uh, you've written a rhyming narrative story, a list poem, and now an ode poem. So in the final video, you're going to have a go at editing some of these poems, okay? All right, a little bit of editing to make sure it's nice and finished and ready to be presented. So thanks again for watching and stay tuned for the third video. Bye!